Whether you're looking to practice your batting skills or charter a fishing trip, Off the Wall Adventures is the place for you. But you know what they're really famous for, Hillary? I sure do. Paintball. That's right, and Off the Wall welcomes all types of paintball players. All right, Hillary, I'm going over here. I'm on your six. But paintball isn't the only experience. There's plenty of water sports, too. That's right, Rachel. You can learn how to scuba dive, kayak, and take swimming lessons as well. Off the Wall Adventures offers private parties, too. For more information on all the excitement offered, check out their website at www.offthewalladventures.com. So if you're looking for an adventure that will get your adrenaline pumping, visit Off the Wall Adventures. Rachel Watson, Hillary McLeod, SBN News. Good morning, Southwest. It's your beloved Rachel and Hillary here on this fantastic Friday. Hillary, it's not just fantastic Friday, it's first Friday. That's exactly right. Okay, so here's the scoop. Local businesses open up their shops and set up booths to advertise their products and services. It's the place in Lakeland to come and see what's new. And speaking of what's new, let's head back to Campus News to see what's going on. Thanks, McKenna. Hillary, are you going to the car wash in December? Absolutely. It should be lots of fun. And fun is a theme at every first Friday. With events like these, they usually have a common theme. Around school time, they do school supply drives. And around Christmas time, the sound of carolers and the smell of hot chocolate fill the air. And this month is no different. With Thanksgiving being right around the corner, businesses are concentrating on the food drives and fun fall decorations. With more information on First Friday, let's check in with Rachel Bukuski, who's standing by with some local radio celebrities. Rachel, I hear you're hanging out with some local radio celebrities. I sure am, guys. Right behind me is WLKS Mayhem and the Ahem crew. Do they have any giveaways? They sure do. They have these cool Mayhem and the Ahem cups. I'll pick one up for you. Thanks, Rachel. Tell us more about this fun event. Thanks, Rachel. Hillary, I have had a lot of fun here at First Friday. I have too. It's been a great opportunity to check out the local shops and artists of the day. And speaking of that, there's a booth over there I want to go see. So while we go check out some of the booths, you guys stay tuned to find out what happened today in history. When you come over to First Friday, you've got to take a walk around and check out the booths. You'll learn about all kinds of community events going on around Lakeland. From community news to national news, let's head on over to Savannah to check out the top stories. Thanks, Savannah. Rachel, it looks like our time is up. We're glad you could join us here at First Friday. And mark your calendars for the next First Friday and just maybe we'll see you out here. I'm Rachel. And I'm Hillary. Have, Have a great, great day. day. Looking for fun and adventure? Well, stop searching because you have found it. That's right, Rachel. We're here at Common Ground Park, where you can enjoy the Butterfly Meadow and Adventure Canyon and so much more. This is a play experience that offers fun for every age. Now we know what's offered here, let's see what's going on back at campus. So give it up for Rachel Burkuski with today's campus news. <laughs> there you are. Thanks, Rachel. Here at Common Ground, there are so many fun things to do. From sliding down the slides to digging for fossils. Common Ground is where the fun is. But that's not the only place in Lakeland that keeps things alive. I'm sure we've all heard of backyard adventures. I know I have. Our very own Savannah Taylor just happened to get the chance to go and check out this bouncy place. Thanks, Savannah. Common Ground Park is such a beautiful location. Hey, Rachel, did you know that Common Ground Park is maintained by the city of Lakeland? Yep, I sure did. And it's also funded from donations from our community. While we're here at Common Ground Park, McKenna is having an adventure of her own, traveling back in time to see what happened this day in history. Take it away, McKenna. Thanks, McKenna. I sure hope to see all of you out here finding your inner child. Hillary McLeod and Rachel Watson, SBN News.
Look at our surroundings. Notice anything different? Wait, are we in a Godfather movie? Godfather movie? Yeah, I mean, it looks like we're swimming with the fishes. Not exactly, Hillary, but we are with the fishes at the Pier Aquarium in St. Petersburg. For more than 21 years, the Pier Aquarium has offered a unique setting providing ocean and aquatic information, stimulation, and personal experiences to students, educators, residents, and visitors 364 days a year. The mission of the Pier Aquarium is to help guests understand the fragile nature of our local marine environment. That's right, Hillary, and nothing gets guests closer than to have the opportunity to feed a baby shark and explore the touch tank. Hey, little guy, I shall call you Squishy and you should be mine. You're so cute. You're so cute, little Squishy. The Pier Aquarium is very affordable. Admission is $5 for adults, $4 for children, and kids 6 and under are free. It's a fun and educational destination for the entire family. I sure have enjoyed my visit here to the Pier Aquarium. As have I, Rachel, Hillary McLeod, and Rachel Watson. SBA News. It's Rachel and Hillary here to help you understand the urban language country style. That's right, Hillary. Over the next couple minutes, you'll be so educated, you just can't even stand it. You're darn tootin'. Hillary, why don't you open today's letter to us? I'd be delighted. Dear country girls, I'm confused by something I heard in the gym. One person accused another person of fronting. Can you tell me what this means? Oh, good one. In this sentence, you be frontin', you means yourself, be means is. Now let's look deeper into the word frontin'. We have a visual representation of what this word really means. Let's take a look. <laughs> Much like that bear standing on his hind legs and growling at the top of his lungs, a person who is fronting may stand up tall and yell quite loudly. This is all just an attempt to scare you away, just like that bear. So fronting is a technique used to intimidate you or scare you away from a further confrontation. That's, That's fronting, y'all. Let's take a look at our next letter. Dear country girls, I have a friend who always tells me that quote, I'm tripping, cub. I'd like to know what cut means. Should I be insulted? That's a good question. Rachel, let's break down the sentence. Tripping, as we know from our last episode, means crazy. Let's take a look at the meaning of cut. Cut is short for cousin. And although your friend may not be of blood relation, meaning she may not be your blood cousin, it's common to refer to a close friend as being a cousin. And having a friend so close that thinks of you as being a part of their own family? I'd say that'd be a compliment. I agree, Hillary. So the term cut simply means to refer to somebody as being a part of your own family. That's cut, y'all. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Country Guide to Urban Language. I know I found it simply enlightening. As did I, Rachel. Send us your letters and perhaps you'll be on our next show. Until then, stay Southern, y'all. Goons, goblins, and creatures galore. All found here at Spirit Halloween. Hillary, let me tell you, nothing can scare me. No matter how bloody, chopped up, or wounded it is? No, not even that. Well, what happens if you don't have the best costume at the Halloween party? Hillary, that's what I call scary. I bet I can find something that can scare you in this spooky place. I seriously doubt that. Well, let's just see about that, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> Here 
at Halloween, home to the scariest costumes, face masks, and decorations. Spirit is the country's largest Halloween retailer, with over 850 locations nationwide. But it's not all scary costumes. Spirit has a softer side. Spirit of the Children has raised over $2.5 million over the past five years, benefiting hospitals like the Shriners Hospital in Tampa. So for all of your scariest needs, just visit Spirit Halloween. This has been Rachel and Hillary for, for SBN, SBN News. Hey, 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 Southwest, you've reached Rachel. And Hillary, we're here with your first sports spot of the year. In the wonderful world of sports, somebody, somewhere, caught a ball and scored a goal. Rachel, I might not be the best sports spot expert here, but I'm pretty sure that there's more to the story than that, because it's back to the basics time in the sport of football for the Tennessee Titans. Head coach Jeff Fisher sees it as the Tennessee Titans aren't ready for the regular season. It's not that he doesn't think that they'll be ready, it's just that there's more practicing to be done in the next couple of days. Rachel, don't you just love the All-American sport of baseball? Yes, yes I do. From the smell of the freshly cut grass to just hearing the crack of that wood bat. What is there not to love? You got that right. And the Tampa Bay Rays are tied with the New York Yankees for the championship game. Come on Rays, make us proud. Well, Seminoles, this has been Hillary. And Rachel, tune in to SBN to see more sporty sports spots. And always remember, go Rays! Southwest, have you ever had the feeling of not knowing what's going on? Well, never fear, Rachel and Hillary are here. So true, because for all of you musically talented out there, Guitar Club just might be the thing to get your groove on. Every Wednesday at 8.15 in the morning, report to Mr. Barbie's class if you would like to strum on those strings. Are you one of those people that just love to read? If so, then Book Club meets every Wednesday in the Media Center from 4 to 4.30. Rachel, don't you just love going to the yearbook signing parties? Why, yes I do. And the only way you can go is if you purchase a yearbook from Miss Lehman's room for the very low cost of just $25. And hey teachers, if you sponsor a club, you can purchase ad space to promote your club. Teachers, the deadline to purchase your ads is November 5th. Hillary, what are you doing? Just dreaming about the cheesecakes, the cookie dough, and the cinnamon rolls. Oh, I can just taste them on my tongue. And so can you. Just find a lovely chorus student, like me, to purchase your delicious delicacy that will put you on cloud nine. Just order yours. Today. Aw, oh, Southwest, it looks like we have to go. So until next time, this has been Hillary and Rachel for SBN News. Hey Southwest, Hillary and Rachel here to tell you what's going on in the world of sports. Julius Peppers and a swarming defense allowed only 187 yards and a single third down conversion Thursday night. And the Chicago Bears won 16-0 against the injury-raved Miami Dolphins to their second home shutout in 40 years. And shifting from football to baseball, even though that they just traded away one of their biggest bats, the Florida Marlins tennis man there, Dan Ugladollars, on a starting pitcher, not another hitter. Well, that's all the sports spot news that we have for you today. I'm Hillary. And I'm Rachel. SBN News. Science fiction, biography, adventure, or romance. Whatever you like to read is at the book fair. And it's not just books either. That's right, Rachel. Whether you're looking for the newest Vampire Academy books or the cutest in fuzzy pencils, oh. find what you need at the book fair. The book fair, sponsored by Scholastic, has been going on for about 10 years. With a wide variety of genres, you can find any type of book you want. I think the book fair will be another success. As do I, Rachel. I'm Rachel Watson. And I'm Hillary McLeod for SBN News. News.